previously on Joliet's Island Adventures. photographer today we will finally hopefully start the green jack so let's jump into working clothes and grab some tools ready let's go Recap. This is Jaguar XJS from 1986 Cabrio. I got this car as a non-starter. So first we change the oil to see if there is any problem with the engine and we have to do it anyway because it's old car. <laughs> and today we will try to find out what is wrong with the car. Maybe we can start it even today. When you have a car which doesn't start, first thing you do, you charge the battery, which we already did, and then you try it again. Maybe you are lucky. We are not lucky. <laughs> if you are wondering yourself why I'm sitting on the right side, that's because it's a jack. And this Jaguar has steering wheel on the wrong left side. That's why. Now we know that the battery works, that the car actually is trying to start, the starter works. So we have to find out what is the problem. Let's go to the other components. I know I'm always complaining about the Jaguars, but I love them, I love to collect them, I love to drive them, I love to have fun with them. And I love old cars because they are simple to work on, not like the new cars with millions of sensors and complicated AI computer. To prove my point how the life is actually easy and wonderful, <laughs> here is everything uh, nicely accessible. Here is the battery, here is the fuel filter, here is the fuel sensor, and somewhere here, if I'm right, must be the fuel pump. We are going for it. The reason why we go for fuel pump is when you work on old cars, there are not so many things which can go wrong and fuel pump will be the next logical step. And when you try to start the car and the car has electrical fuel pump, you should hear it. And I didn't. First things first, never forget to remove the battery. I remove it to have better access. Oh. Okay. I have a trick for you, it's the same like with the starter. You hammer it a few times and then 
It might help you or not. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you repair to the car. It's just uh, sometimes when it's stuck, you get it unstuck. And it can help you when you are stranded somewhere, you can actually make home. The reason why we do it now is to diagnose and find the problem. If it was the really the fuel pump and the car will start now, then we are super happy and we will just replace the fuel pump and start a new life. <laughs> Let's prove if I am right or, or wrong. No, she doesn't want to. Sometimes it helps, sometimes not. <laughs> we have to try again. I exposed the positive wire on the fuel pump and now I will try connect it to the battery. Aha! The fuel pump is working. That means the problem must be somewhere else. <laughs> The logical step number two would be to find a relay for the fuel pump. It took me some time to find it because the electric of this car was modified, but I found it. It is here. <laughs> ah. Here it is. It is also a very common problem. This is the relay. We will test it, connect it to the battery, and it should make click click. No, it doesn't. So then this is might be the problem. This relay was not supposed to be in the car, and I don't have anything like here now, so I have to redo the electric to original state, but it will take a lot of time. However, I want to start this car and we will do it manually. I hot wired the fuel pump and now I will start it again. Well, she starts, but she runs really rough. It's a relay, it might be not the only problem here. We reached our goal for today. We started the car. Sadly, she didn't sound very healthy and we discovered problems with relay, fuel system and electric. So next time we will work on electric and when the car is anyway open, we will change the fuel filter, fuel sensor and fuel pump. This will be next time, but now it's all for today. Take care of your cars, love them and See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm joking. It's only 12 volts. Movies are lying to you. It's not that dangerous. <laughs> but this is dangerous. But still, movies are lying to you. Okay, maybe it's a little bit dangerous. <laughs> okay.